Hi guys, Alice Taylor down here at Leatherham Golf Academy and today we're going to talk about keeping your left arm straight during your golf swing. Right then guys, so this is something that lots and lots of people come to see me and they talk about should they be keeping their left arm for a right-handed golfer straight during their golf swing. Now, certainly for me, it's about getting it in the correct position at address. It's actually understanding what straight is. Straight, not stiff. And then actually it's more down to the length of backswing that will influence how far you can keep that arm straight in order to maintain the width in your golf swing. Certainly keeping the arm straight can help be more consistent with width and should aim with ball striking. But we're gonna have a close up look at how the length of backswing can affect that and show you the difference between straight and stiff. Right then, if this is your first time down to my channel, welcome down to Ali Taylor Golf. If you are a returning viewer, thank you for coming back. Really appreciate you watching my videos. Click the subscribe button if you don't already subscribe to my channel, but remember to switch the notification bell on so that you'll be notified as soon as I drop a new video. But for now, let's get on with left arm straight during the golf swing. Right then guys, so left arm straight during the golf swing, or lead arm. This is obviously for a right-handed golfer. So the big thing I hear for a lot of guys is, or the question I get asked, is should I keep that left arm straight during my swing? Now, clearly on the way through, the left arm has to fold to allow the club to get round. So for me, it's more relevant for the shape and the position of the left arm at address during the backswing and down into the impact. So the first mistake I see most golfers make is they actually confuse straight with stiff. So a lot of golfers look pretty good over the golf ball. And the first thing they do is they really get that left arm locked. The forearm kind of rotates and it gets into a position that makes it incredibly tough to let the backswing actually work how it needs. So I think when we talk about straight left arm, a really key word is comfortably straight. So as I address the golf ball, I want to feel that my hands are hanging from my shoulders and that left arm is just comfortably straight. So there's no tension in there. Don't want to see that locked left arm, but just comfortably straight from there. So for a lot of guys, that will be an instant change at address. So it's as we get into the backswing, the simplest form of your golf swing is that club head moves in a circle around your body. So in order to draw a consistent circle, you need the center point to stay still and you need the width of the circle to stay the same. So because your clubs change length, obviously the, the circle size changes, but actually from kind of sternum to hands should stay pretty similar. So we would see if we are here, ideally what we would like to see is that that width stays the same and that's where that left arm stays comfortably straight. So a very, very simple principle. I think the problem for a lot of guys though is they want to make a complete backswing. Now, again, this is where we get into the dilemma of what is a complete backswing. So most golfers will say for a complete backswing, they want to feel that the club gets parallel to the ground. Lovely theory, but we're seeing lots of golf swings out there nowadays that don't actually get the club to there. Some are short, some are long, but it's about optimizing what you can do. So a great little thing to understand is, let's see how far back you can actually swing by maintaining that comfortably straight arm. So for me, for example, as I swing back, I get to a point where the arm's still fairly straight. But if I wanna go any further than that, my body can't keep going, so the only way I can get there is to let that left arm fold. Now obviously we can see that distance is much, much smaller, so then it's a case of how good I am at compensating. You can probably understand if you're watching this video, if that's something that you do, probably not especially good at it. So a great thing is get a feel for how far back you can get. In my experience, a lot of guys feel it's kind of three quarter length backswing. They've still got their body making a pretty full turn, but we're maintaining that width. And then on the way down, we can kind of retain the width in the swing and it makes it easier for the club head to collect the ball. 
So a really easy way is once you've got a feel for how far back, that's what we want to try and repeat in the golf swing. So we're going to set up to the golf ball, that left arm just comfortably straight, rehearse where we can get to, and now hit the shot for that. So right out the middle of the club, very, very solid. But like I said, a lot of golfers, I think initially start off very stiff. So then the problem is there's no flow and they really struggle because there's a lot of tension in the golf swing. They really, really struggle getting that contact. Or the other way is they're fairly relaxed with the arm address. They swing too far back, the arm folds. And even though I've struck that pretty well, there's just no real power in that and I'm not really getting the kind of strike I want. So that left arm being straight is very much down to your optimum length backswing. Now, whatever your optimum length is, where that stays straight, is your full backswing. But remember, comfortably straight at address, feel where the length of backswing is, and then allow yourself to practice hitting shots with that particular length backswing that allows you to keep that left arm comfortably straight, improve your ball striking, and we all enjoy our golf more. Right then, guys, so we can see actually the big thing is it's about being comfortably straight, certainly at address and not stiff, keeping the tension out of the golf swing, and then actually finding where your flexibility allows you to swing back to while maintaining that kind of comfortably straight left arm. So hope that's helped. Put that into practice when you get down to the driving range or go to the golf course. Hopefully get you hitting better shots, enjoying your golf more and getting those scores down. If you have enjoyed today's video, like and share it, comment below and I'll get back to as many people as I can. If you've enjoyed the content and you don't currently subscribe, click the button and ring the notification bell. Let's make sure you get my stuff as soon as it drops. Follow me on all my social media platforms, all under Ali Taylor Golf. Hopefully catch up with some of you guys down here soon. Stay in contact.